All right, I'm going to get right to the point. Uh, there are two Twitter users, Sarusia and ApeXY, hope I'm pronouncing that both correctly, who have found an exploit, a bit of a glitch, if you will, in Red Dead Redemption 2 that allows you to get any horse in the game. Now, there's this small spot in St. Denis. I'll have that flash up on the screen right now. Uh, a bit of a closer one, and then a, a bit of a farther away one. And this spot, up to, I believe, zero to three horses, can spawn behind this house. And they have a chance of being any horse in the game. Even horses that you can't or shouldn't be able to get until the end of the game. Now, the method they suggest seems a little bit inefficient. I had a hunch that I'd be able to do it differently, and it turns out I'm right. All you need to do, instead of uh, saving and going back, and if there's nothing there, quitting the game and restarting it, you don't need to do all that. All you need to do is travel a good distance away from the spot, and then come back. So I'm just heading roughly north until I get to this little bridge here. You'll see it in a second. And when I get here, I'm turning right around and I'm going right back to the spot to see if anything is different, if there are any new horses, if there are any rare horses. Now, full disclosure, I have not found any rare horses yet. But I have seen people saying that they have and posting proof on the original threads from Reddit. Now, once again, I'm not going to be taking any credit for this. These two guys found it, ApexY and Sarusia. But I will take a tiny bit of credit for developing a slightly faster, more streamlined method that doesn't involve shutting down your console or shutting down your game and then starting it over again. This goes a lot faster and I believe will result in success much, much quicker. And uh, I'll definitely, I'll definitely put uh, something in the comments or description if it works for me. Because I have no idea if this is going to work for me. Oh, sorry about that, Piggy. Uh, but I've, I've, I haven't done this myself yet, but I am finding different horses. This uh, Nakota, I believe it was called horse, I have not seen that in the game yet. And I have seen a few other uh, interesting horses. I've seen an Ardennes in there. And the only other Ardennes is the one I've seen that was given to me for having the uh, the Day 1 DLC for the PlayStation 4 version, I believe. It could have been all consoles. I don't really remember. So that's how this method works. Go get some cool horses before they patch it. That's all, and see you in the next video. Alright, so now that I've got a little bit of further testing under my belt, I have a few observations to report back. Number one, it definitely does work. I discovered a Mustang, and from what I've been told, I could be wrong, but this is just from what I've seen in the game from what I and from what I've heard online, you can't get Mustangs early on in the game. They're apparently a rare spawn. So I found one there. It seems to be working. Number two, you have to make sure it's day while doing this. The horses seem to have a much higher chance to appear during the day. I haven't found any at night, so if it's nighttime, go to a shop to wait till morning or just go camp out in the wilderness and then come back. Number three, you don't have to go all the way to the bridge. The red barn that you pass on the way to the bridge is more than far enough, and that's about half of the distance from the house to the bridge. So this is an even more streamlined version of this method. You might even be able to get away with a shorter distance than that. I'm not 100% sure. And lastly, if you try to stable your newly stolen horse, and it says you cannot stable a gang horse, that means you've actually spawned in a horse that belongs to one of your gang members, and like it says, you can't actually stable it, unfortunately. I don't even think it'll count as stolen if you try to take it away, at least that was my experience. So what you're going to have to do is, before you even take the horse away to try to steal it, try patting the horse. If you can pat the horse a bunch of times and increase the bond with it, then that means it is a safe horse, it is not a gang horse. And you'll also notice when you try to steal it, well, you'll become wanted. So that's the end of my tips for that. Hopefully this will help you guys out there. And like I've already said, but I'll say it again, I'll see you in the next video.